you hear that? I hear it. Crunchy bottom rice! Hi, welcome to Yvonne's Tastes of Asia. Every two weeks, I'll be showing you how to make my favorite dishes from 10 different parts of Asia so you can see how easy it is to make one of these delicious, authentic dishes right at home. No need to travel thousands of miles or spend lots of money at a restaurant anymore. And most importantly, you'll learn how to make something super yummy and impress your friends and family. Welcome to our fourth episode. Today, we'll be headed to Western Asia, specifically to Iran. Dee -dee -dee. Persian cuisine is extremely complex, multi-layered, rich, and super delicious. But one of the staples in the Persian home is of course rice. And specifically, a specialty is tadig rice. So what is tadig? In Persian cuisine, rice is often prepared by steaming with oil or butter to create a crispy layer of rice on the bottom of the pot called tadig. Ta means bottom and dig means pot in Farsi. It's literally what happens at the bottom of the pot, and thus it's known as bottom of the pot rice or scorched crispy rice. Many cultures have this, and as a child, I always looked forward to the crunchy rice on the bottom of the pot that my grandma made, as well as in Cantonese clay pot rice. There are many different ways to make tadi, including with yogurt as well as with lavash, but today we're gonna to keep it short and simple so that you can understand how to make this delicious bottom of the pot rice with a few basic ingredients. So we're gonna get started right now. So we'll begin by looking at our ingredients. To make tadi, of course, we'll need some rice. So I've got two cups of extra long grain white basmati rice that I have cleaned. In order to clean the rice, you want to clean it in several washes of water. I typically do four to five until the water runs nice and clear. Soak it for about four hours. Then we'll also need a little bit of fat. So we have two tablespoons of butter as well as two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I've got avocado here. Salt. Unlike in East Asian cuisine where the rice stands by itself and there's no extra seasoning added, in Persian cuisine, in tajik rice, you'll always need salt to season the rice to give some extra flavor. For color and extra flavor, we also have half a teaspoon of saffron. Mmm, saffron. It's basically like threads of gold. The saffron's going to add some additional color as well as additional flavor to this delicious rice. I'm gonna start by adding about seven cups of water into a pot and I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Now we'll prepare our saffron. We'll add in just a pinch of salt, then use the back of a knife or a little pestle and just mash the saffron against the salt. This will help unleash and unlock the different aromas and delicious flavors of the saffron. Now we'll add in three tablespoons of hot water. Once a pot of water has come to a boil, we're going to empty in our drained rice. Then we'll bring the rice back to a boil for about 10 minutes. The grain should be nice, long, and soft, but still hard in the center. Now we'll return the pot over medium heat and then add in the oil and the butter. We're gonna add in one tablespoon of the saffron liquid. Stir to combine. Now we'll remove it from the heat. Now we're gonna add all of that rice into this pot. We're gonna make sure it's nice and mounded in the center. We're building the rice mound. Ooh, you're still watching. You're still watching. Make sure to hit the like button. Now we're gonna get ready to steam the rice. So to do that, we're gonna put the pot back over the stove. I'm gonna take the end of a wooden spatula and just poke about five to six holes to allow the steam to release. Now I'll turn the pot on medium heat and leave it uncovered until it starts steaming in about seven to 10 minutes. So if you look closely, after about seven to 10 minutes, there's going to be some wisps of steam coming out of the rice. At this point, we'll add about two tablespoons of oil, pour a cup of water, and the remaining two tablespoons of saffron water. At this point, we want to lower the heat. We'll also want to cover, but not cover just with the lid. We actually want to cover the lid with a towel because we don't want extra condensation to make the rice more wet. We actually want this to be nice and dry. So to prevent the water from getting onto the rice as it steams, we're gonna wrap up this towel around the lid. It's gonna look something like this. And we're just gonna place it on top of the rice pot and 
is let it cook over low heat for about an hour. So we'll see you in about an hour. So it's been about an hour and we've allowed our tadig rice to steam. And now we're gonna do the unveiling. Ta-da! Look at this beautiful rice. Okay, peeps. We're one step away from enjoying the deliciousness of Persian tadig rice. All we have to do now is take this pot and place a plate over it and flip this freaking pot over. This is gonna be scary and there's gonna be a lot of anxiety involved because there's a lot of stress and pressure when it comes to flipping this over and not having the bottom break. So we're gonna have to do a little wish, a little prayer, do something to just bring us good luck and good vibes and ensuring that this rice stays intact. So let's just think about it for a second. Made a wish, I made a wish. We also want to loosen the sides of this rice from the sides of the pot. Okay, here goes the big tidy flip. Uh-oh. Uh okay, so that was a little bit sad and pathetic, but what can I say? I never said I was an expert at this. The one way to prevent what just happened to me from happening to you is to use a slightly more shallow saucepan or pot. You really shouldn't have used a saucepan that was that deep. But I didn't have anything else. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> so sadly, this isn't perfect, but at least it's still got this nice golden crunchy top or what used to be bottom. If you actually tap it, you can hear the crunch. You can hear it. I just love how separated all of the rice granules are. Extra long grain basmati is the way to go. It smells nice and saffrony. Okay, now we take a taste. Mmm! <laughs> can you hear that crunch? I can feel it. Mmm, that's perfect patty. Okay, well not perfect as in picture perfect, but perfect in the mouth. Saffrony, a little bit salty, beautiful, nice, fragrant basmati. Ugh, love this rice. Whoever thought to capture the gloriousness of crunchy bottom rice is a genius. So this wraps up yet another episode of Yvonne's Taste of Asia, where I show you how to make some of my favorite dishes from various delicious countries across Asia. No need to travel thousands of miles or spend tons of money in a restaurant. All these dishes are very able to be made by you in your own home kitchen. But for this dish, just remember to use a more shallow pot. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it entertaining. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear what your favorite rice dish is. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive immediate notifications as soon as I upload my next video. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye. Crunchy.